wireless networks are invisible to the naked eye which is probably a good thing right there is already enough things to see in this world and i don't need to see a 2.4 gigahertz wi-fi coming this way another one coming the other way and maybe interfering with each other i don't need to see that unless of course when i'm actually going to troubleshoot it because how can i troubleshoot something that i'm not even able to see hmm that's when a Wi-Fi analyzer tool comes in really handy because it allows me to see the Wi-Fi environment around me and understand what is going on. In this video, I'll be sharing with you five Wi-Fi analyzer apps that I personally have been using on my Android phone. In the next video though, I'll discuss the Wi-Fi analyzer situation on the iPhone, which is a different story. Now, before we start, I just need to point out that this is not a sponsored video and I'm just simply sharing with you the Wi-Fi analyzer apps that I'm currently using. Obviously in the future I can add or remove some of these apps from the list. So I'll try to do this like every year and update you about the tools that I use for Wi-Fi troubleshooting. But for now here are the five Android Wi-Fi analyzer apps that I use. The first two apps I want to talk about are somewhat similar so I'm going to mention them together. The first one is called Wi-Fi analyzer open source and it is free. The second one is simply called Wi-Fi Analyzer, which has both a free version and a paid version. They both provide four main categories of information. The first category is access point, which displays a list of access points that are broadcasting wireless networks in my area. It includes details such as the manufacturer name, SSID, BSSID, signal strength, Wi-Fi channel, estimated distance of the access point from me, and more. It also shows the channel graph for each frequency band. Essentially here I can see the channels and the wireless networks that are being broadcast on them, as well as their signal strength. This is very useful because it allows me to see the channel utilization and giving me insight into how crowded or congested each channel is. Next category is channel ratings, which can show me the best channels for each frequency band. Basically, this feature will be helpful if I need to manually select a channel for my Wi-Fi. I can see which channels are the best and least crowded for each frequency band, allowing me to make a more informed decision. This is really useful and I used it in my previous video to select channels for my Wi-Fi. So feel free to check out that video if you haven't already. Last but not least we have the time graph which shows the change of signal strength of all networks over time. This feature is definitely helpful in troubleshooting Wi-Fi issues as it allows me to observe any fluctuation or patterns in signal strength that may be causing connectivity problems. The free version of the Wi-Fi analyzer display ads, but they're not annoying and I hardly notice them. Now, if I want to remove the ads, I can upgrade to the pro version, which also offers additional features. Personally, I'm not very excited about these extra features because there are free apps available that provide them. Nonetheless, if I require any of these four categories of information, these apps are my top choices. I really appreciate their user interface as it allows me to quickly locate what I need. The next app I want to talk about also has a free version that displays ads and a pro version that doesn't display ads, but it's not free. It is called Net Analyzer and as its name suggests, it's a tool for analyzing networks and not just limited to Wi-Fi. This is good because the Wi-Fi analyzer feature of it only displays the channel graph and a list of the nearby access points, which is good but nothing exceptional compared to the previous apps which already had these features. What I like about it is that it can scan the connected network and show a list of devices that are connected to it. This feature can come in handy for example a few days ago when I needed the IP address of a Raspberry Pi that I have in my network this helped me to quickly find it. The Net Analyzer app also offers additional network tools. For example, Ping, Traceroute, Port Scanner, and DNS Lookup. Now, most of them are usually easily accessible on a PC using the command prompt, but having them available on a cell phone at times could be useful. The Net Analyzer's user interface is also very nice and neat, and everything can easily be found, which is great. The pro version of the Net Analyzer offers several additional features. These extra features include a speed tool for testing the internet speed. 
a routing table that displays the network routing table, and a UPnP and Bonjour tool that provides access to the list of the UPnP and Bonjour services available on the Wi-Fi network. Overall, I find both the free and pro versions of the app to be well-built, easy to use, and user-friendly. However, there is one issue that needs to be addressed. The last time these apps received an update was in September 2022, which means they haven't been updated for quite some time, almost one year now. This lack of updates not only raises concerns about the security of the apps, but also means that they do not support the latest Wi-Fi features. For example, the Wi-Fi analog section only supports the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands and not the 6 GHz band. I really hope that the developers will begin updating the app soon. Unfortunately though given the current situation I cannot recommend paying for an app that hasn't received recent updates despite my overall positive experience with it. The next app I want to talk about is called Wi-Fi Man. It is free and ad free which is good. It can show a list of the access points in my area and the Wi-Fi's they're broadcasting, along with the channel graph which includes the 6 GHz band. It can also perform LAN scans, internet speed tests, and show network latency which is helpful. Plus, it can display nearby Bluetooth devices. Now, if I want to check the signal strength of my Wi-Fi in different places around the house, something that I usually do when I want to compare the Wi-Fi range of two different wireless routers or access points, this app does that for me. For example, I can go to the kitchen, wait for about 10 seconds and add it here. Then I can go to some other places, for example office or living room, and do the same thing. This feature makes my job easier by storing the signal strength for each location. There is also an option to scan the house by using the smartphone's camera to create a floor plan. Personally, I have tried it many times, but I was not successful, so I'm not very excited about this feature. Hopefully, if they can add some other ways to upload the floor plan, I think it would be more helpful. The last app which is the most advanced one is called Speed Test Wi-Fi Analyzer and it offers both a free version and a paid version. The free version provides several features including the ones that we have seen in the previous apps. For example, it can show the nearby access points or Wi-Fi networks. It can also show a channel graph and do LAN scans, but with more details. Even the speed test is very advanced and offers many options. I can even install this app on two different phones and test the speed between them. There is also a wireless coverage analyzer that compares network performance between multiple locations within the house. It is more advanced compared to what we saw in the Wi-Fi Man and provides much more details. Additionally, the app includes a ping and DNS speed analyzer, a Wi-Fi handover or Wi-Fi roaming analyzer that checks the situation of Wi-Fi roaming and even more, which all of that can be really useful. Now, the paid version brings even more advanced features, such as the ability to decode Wi-Fi scans. Essentially, it can show the beacon frames. The beacon frame is one of the most information-dense wireless packets. The access point sends a beacon frame as a broadcast to announce its presence to any wireless clients. It relays information about the parameters that must be set on the client side in order to connect to it. Wireless network cards on client devices continuously scan the Wi-Fi radio channels and listen for beacon frames to determine the best access points to connect to. Alright, that was it. Let me know if you're also using any of those apps or maybe you're using a different one. Let me know in the comments below. And as I said in the beginning of this video, I will discuss the Wi-Fi analyzer situation on the iPhone and iPad in the next video. So if you're interested, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and activate that bell notification so you won't miss it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it if you think others might like it too. And and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I will see you next time.